let x and be a sequence plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 plus 4 minus 4 you can see and if yn is defined by this structure then you can say you can see yn is uh, nothing but uh, average of xn then the sequence yn means uh, sequence generating by average as we call it uh, yn then uh, convergence of yn options are monotonic not bounded bounded but not convergent and convergent so there are few points we have to recall while solving these types of problem first point is every convergent sequence have unique limit unique limit second point is monotonic monotonic means in same direction always in same direction monotonic and bounded sequence always convergent always convergent but uh, converse is not true means uh, if sequence is convergent if sequence is convergent then it uh, no need to imply sequence is bounded sorry sequence is monotonic but uh, monotonic and bounded sequence is always convergent third point is every convergent sequence is cauchy convergent sequence is cauchy these are few points we have to recall while solving this problem every convergent sequence is bounded also so these are few points related to this problem and we can easily discard options while reaching some stage if we see xn is plus one square root one x x one x two will be minus square root of one x three is plus square root of two so we can say that uh, this sequence xn is going to in positive infinity and minus infinity in both direction so we can say that uh, xn is not uh, convergent but uh, we define average of uh, xn as yn average of xn it may or may not be convergent i'm not saying uh, yn will be divergent because xn is convert xn is uh, divergent but uh, yn may or may not be convergent we investigate it so few terms uh, we need to find for yn and we can easily predict uh, convergence of the sequence yn so first term of yn will be x1 upon 1 and x1 is plus square root of 1 so y2 will be x1 minus x2 divided by 2 and this one is equal to square root of 1 minus square root of 1 divided by 2 this is 0 and y3 will be x1 minus x2 sorry always in positive because of average x3 divided by 3 so it will be plus 1 minus 1 and plus 2 divided by 3 so we will obtain square root of 2 divided by 3 value of square root we have to remember or otherwise uh, there will be scientific calculator in your integrated online exam portal so you can use calculator there so 1.414 1.414 this is the value of square root after up to three decimal place divided by three so approximately this value is you can find four point sorry 0 0.471 and uh, you can find y4 also so y4 is zero so you can see that uh, y1 is square root of one which is one then zero this is less than one this is less than one and again zero means uh, this is a dec one zero uh, 
approximate to one and uh, this will be less than approximate of this previous value and the next one will be zero and the coming value will be less than this previous approximation so we can say that uh, terms are going decreasingly terms are going decreasingly but uh, alternatively 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 because zero some value zero some value zero some value so terms are decreasing and i'm not saying decreasing because uh, decreasing value is uh, increasing means uh, alternatively decreasing alternatively decreasing so this will going to zero so yn is convergent convergent hence bounded so on which your options is true a is monotonic because zero some positive value zero some positive value so obviously ups and down so monotonic option discard not bounded because of convergent so it will be bounded so not bounded is given so discard bounded but not convergent this also discard convergent it is right so option d is correct